Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're noticing uh, this page is having a problem, error you're coming across when browsing on the Microsoft Edge web browser. So if you're coming across this problem and you're noticing you're having issues with other web pages, it's not just one particular website, and other browsers seem to be working properly. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving this. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the star menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, check on back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily create a way to go back to the previous version. In order to create the backup, you just would select File and then Export. Save it to a convenient location on your computer. File name, I would normally suggest just the date that you're making the backup. And Export Range, keep it at all here. And then just select Save. Again, save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select File and then Import. So pretty straightforward process there. And now we're ready to begin, so go ahead and double click on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for software. Same thing for your policies. Same thing for Microsoft. And now you want to go create an Edge folder here. So right click on the Microsoft folder itself. Select New. Then select Key. You want to call this Key edge so e d g e again e d g e hit enter on your keyboard if you also need to take note of our file path it's up at the top of the screen here so if you need to pause the video and see each backslash is different folder we've gone under up to this point you can feel free to do that and now on the right side you want to go ahead and right click in a blank area on the right side select new and then select the word 32 bit value and I'm going to make this bigger on the screen here, so you want to type in render, and then ER, so render, ER, so ER, ER basically, and then code integrity enabled. So render, er, code integrity enabled, all one word exactly as it appears on my screen here. Hit enter. Go ahead and double click on that. Make sure value data is set to zero, select OK. And once you know what that you should be able to go ahead and close it here. Restart your computer and see if your issue has been resolved at this point. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.